Hey guys, um, I'm shooting this sort of semi quick. Um, since my last video has been about two or three weeks, um, I know you guys aren't tuning in here for consistency uh, in uploads. Uh, you guys are just here for whatever reason. You watch the videos and hope that I either go on a rant or talk about records that I bought or whatever have you. Um, been pretty busy the last two and a half, three weeks. Some nights I just come home and I just chill because it's like you know what I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it I'm just gonna relax you know. Um, <clears throat> I've also. We also, or well, Age of Sin has also moved out of our jam jam space. Uh, we are moving into the loft. You guys have seen me talk about the loft before. Um, I haven't done a whole lot vocally uh, until today. Um, I am being, my uh, buddy Mike Foster will be picking me up uh, around lunchtime or a little after. And I will be going out to his current band's um, rehearsal space to do some guest vocals for him on another project he had done a long time ago. And decided, yeah, I think I'd like to put these out and have a couple different vocalists on. So I'm pretty nervous, but I'm very excited um, because Mike is probably one of the best dudes around that I that I know. I don't really, and and that's the thing, I don't know him like to the point of, hey man, let's go for beers. Well. I mean, I'm sure I could, and he might be down. But, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of his band, uh, Red Usurper. I've talked about them enough. I'm very, uh, I'm looking very forward to their new release. Um, I was talking to a couple bands last night. <clears throat> um, not bands, like mostly certain, you know, specific members. Uh, in a band out of Halifax called Shadow of Everest. Um, they're in the process of wrapping up their new record, so I will be reviewing that. Doom Machine won't be putting theirs out until late spring, early summer, which is fine. I will be, uh, I'll be reviewing that. I heard Dark Spiral from Shadow of Everest last night. It was fucking excellent. I, I heard w the debut single off of Doom Machine's newest record. Uh, I believe it's called Broken Crown. Well, if you like Doom, great, but you're not getting a whole lot of Doom here. But that's besides the point. I'll worry about that later. That being said, um, I've been cranking a lot of death metal lately. I mean, and probably, an, I mean, some people would say an unhealthy dose of it, but I've been too bad. I've been cranking it. Um, Age of Sin almost imploded on me in a matter of five minutes. Um, a lot of different things have been going on. I'm not going to get into that. That's not really anybody's business to know that. Um, still not sure about one member currently. Um, we're going to try and we're going to give this a good hard go because we, we, we want to do this. We want to put forth our best effort, but it's difficult with the way things have gone and, and I've been pretty underwhelmed by things. I've been pretty upset, but we hashed things out last Wednesday and that was good. So now it's a matter of let's continue forward. Let's put our best foot forward. Let's really work on things the way we should have. Um, <clears throat> I know the wife's got another appointment, um, not this week coming, but the following week. So hopefully everything is still good there. Um, that would be awesome, especially for around Christmas time. Uh, let's see what else. I have a bunch of different videos that I want to want to get to. Um, I still want to do the top ten terrible songs on Killer Records. I want to do top twenty five Metallica songs. I actually have the songs ready to go. I just want to write them out and have them on a piece of paper. My Mac has completely shit the fucking bed, but that's okay because it's about 11 or almost 12 years old now. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to think. Um, I still want to do my top 10 death metal records of all time. And I'm going to take on the wonderful task of ranking Cannibal Corpse. Now... 
Cannibal, in terms of death metal, they're my favorite band. They were the first death metal band I heard, and they were the first ones that I latched onto, and then I was like, okay, this stuff's good. Don't have a lot of Cannibal. I have literally one album. Um, not that I, you know, don't want to get the others, but one, I did something with one other one that I had, which is a good record. Um, it's not one of my top, top favorite records, but I want to get a whole collection. Um, but it's really difficult when you have a five-year-old who really likes to look at albums and, and stuff. And we know their covers aren't exactly the nicest, are they? So, yeah, um, like I say, uh, I'm going to be going through and just because I, I was cranking this bad boy last night, uh, which is probably one of my tops. Um, and obviously it's not Cannibal's Death, but I, I said, you know what, like I, I said to myself last night, I was having a couple of, um, uh, couple of near beers, you know, the, the non-alcoholic stuff, which is really delicious. Um, I was like, you know what, I'm, I think I should finally get to that death metal album ranking. My original plan was to do top 30 death metal records, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go like top 10 or top 15 and I'm going to highlight my favorite record by each, but Pretty shortly, I'm gonna once I upload this, I'm going to be getting the full Cannibal discography on a playlist. And over the next little bit, after I do this vocal thing with Mike today, um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start that, and that's going to be the whew, down the wormhole. Let's go through these albums, and and I'm going to go by I'm going to go record by record, right from. Eaten Back to Life, all the way to Violence Unimagined. It's about 15 records. If I get it, if I'm, I'm good, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to put time into this. I'm, I mean, now that I'm back to taking the bus in the morning, I can put my headphones on and just do my thing. So, anyways, guys, apologies for the lack of content. Um, I've been watching a lot of thrall, the Thralls of Metal over the last two days, and it's been excellent. Those guys are a lot of fun. Although there's been some times where I've been looking at my phone going, are you sure? Like, why do you hate that record? Why do you not, why does this record not get love? Because the video in question I was, or a couple of videos was like, um, you know, versus uh, bands versus, you know, albums. And like, uh, they were, I watched a few of the ranking videos. Like the, I watched the Morbid Angel ranking. I've just been watching the Cannibal Corpse uh, ranking. There's been a couple others that they've done too, and uh, I subbed to them immediately. Those guys are awesome. They have a huge fan base, and then I woke up. Uh, I woke up this morning actually, and I'm and I'm like, you have a new subscriber, Thralls of Metal. I'm like, oh my, okay. Uh, so I have I have work to do, <laughs> not to try and compete or anything, because I think it's I I just love watching their channel. I just think they're a phenomenal channel. Um, so if you haven't heard of these guys and you're really into that sort of extreme stuff. You need to check them out because those guys know what they're fucking talking about, and they're a lot of fun to watch because they have they do they have good sense of humor and they end up, tend to have a lot of fun while shooting their videos, and that really is the key. So, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I really love this. Stay heavy as balls, and keep it extreme.